So I'm John Breyer, KG4AKV, and we're on our way, Victor and I here are on our way to listen to a French astronaut talk to a school in Belgium from the International Space Station. And he's going to be speaking French to the students in, in Belgium, and I wanted to have somebody translate that, so I was able to hook up with Victor, and how I did that was I have a friend who studied uh, viticulture, which is basically wine science, for lack of a better term. He studied viticulture in France for a few years, and I asked him if he would translate originally, but he said he was no longer fluent. He's been back in the United States for several years. He actually owns a wine company here in North Carolina, in Raleigh, North Carolina, where you can order wine online and have it shipped to you on a regular basis, or you can even pick it up locally if you want. And he suggested the Schema Business School, though, which is a, a French international business school that has campuses all over the world and they have a campus here at NC State University where they have 400 French students. He suggested I reach out to them and he gave me a contact person and I emailed them and she forwarded it on to the entire 400 students and that's where Victor came in. He saw my email and, and he had a couple different reasons he was really interested in doing this and uh, can you just tell us what those are Victor? So, sure, yeah, there a couple of reasons, I guess. Well, the schools that are going to ask the questions to uh, Thomas Pesquet um, are actually located in Belgium, where I used to live. Uh, notably, one of the towns that I lived in, which is pretty small, so that was a really big coincidence, I guess. And also just because of the fact that the astronaut is French. I'm originally from France. I was born in France, also lived here in the States. And I guess my brother and I, my brother being an aeronautical engineer, we followed the um, Thomas Pesquet's uh, actually uh, going to space. And uh, it had been a while since there was a French astronaut in space and my brother wanted to actually follow his footsteps. Uh, he was really interested in it and I, I kind of followed it as well. And so yeah, those are mainly the, the two reasons I guess uh, I answered the email and I'm here sitting with John right now. Um, and I'm excited. Cool. All right, we're going to go listen to a French astronaut on board the International Space Station talk to a school in Belgium through a Telebridge station in Maryland. November Alpha 1 SS, I read you 5 by 5. All right, so the food actually tastes the same, um, but there's less, less taste actually, so they put a lot of uh, hot sauce on it. So yeah, actually it's really easy, it's kind of relaxing. Um, we do actually a lot of sport because we uh, float most of the time, and so we have to keep our muscles um, pretty active. Awesome. Yeah, we actually sleep really well. Um, there's uh, some people actually don't sleep that well, but I actually um, sleep pretty well. Bonjour Melina, ma première sensation, c'était que ça sentait pas très bon, ça sentait un peu renfermé. Actually, my first impression was that it didn't smell very good. It actually smelled kind of like feet. But uh, it's pretty small. Uh, it, well, actually, when we tested it for the first time on the Earth, it actually felt really small, but uh, it's not that small. In my free time, I actually uh, call my family. Um, I, t I take a lot of pictures on, uh, of the Earth uh, because it's really, really pretty from up here. So yeah, we can actually see the, the, the stars really, really well. Um, best from, well, we, we can see it better than from the Earth, and we can see um, the um, the moon really well, uh, better than from uh, the Earth, and uh, obviously, yeah, we can. 
We can see it better. So usually the oxygen that's in the um, ISS, uh, we bring it from the Earth, uh, but we also recycle the, uh, the oxygen inside the, the space station. Well, the, the, the danger is pretty controlled. Um, I think the biggest danger would be depressurization. Um, and then we would uh, lose the atmosphere from the outside. <laughs> no, the pets are not allowed. Um, it would actually be pretty bad for the, the, the pet. Uh, if you imagine like a, a, a dog floating inside, he would kind of be lost and not be very happy. We do a lot of experience here in the ISS uh, on physics, um, medical experience. Um, we, what we do is we use the uh, pri pri uh, like the um, we use the elements here in space to conduct um, experiments that we couldn't do uh, on the Earth. Uh, we don't need actually a headset. Um, it's kind of like if we're in the same uh, in the same uh, room. So um, the only reason we would use a headset is to speak with with the Earth. <laughs> it's actually a good question. Uh, kind of Wi-Fi is kind of a necessity now. Uh, we do have Wi-Fi, uh, but we can't go on the internet. It's just uh, to exchange uh, documents. So we have the Wi-Fi, but it's very limited. The perception of time is the same. Uh, what we do is actually we, we have um, we're based on the Greenwich um, meridian, and so we have a, a time difference with Belgium of one hour. So our, our duties are that we have to um, kind of control uh, the, the station, um, do experiences. Uh, sometimes we have to get out of the ISS to make experience or conduct experiences and uh, use the actual suit and get out of the, the station. We don't exactly we don't exactly wash our clothes. What we do is we we put them on as much as we can and then we throw them out um, because what we do is that we can't really we don't have really have water here current water so we just have to throw the, the clothes out. We can see the pollution not really around the earth. But we can see the pollution around certain cities like uh, Beijing and, and also deforestation and, and it kind of it's kind of scary because we we can actually see the uh, uh, how, how much our, our earth needs to be entertained or. So what you need to do is you have to be between 27 and 40 years old. We need to work very well at school, uh, learn languages, um, do sports, also be a good team player, and um, yeah, work a lot. So, so the liftoff was kind of like um, a roller coaster, but times a thousand. So we, we, it's kind of um, it's pretty hard, and then but it's worth it because after when you get to see the uh, the Earth from uh, this far, it's really pretty. So yeah, there's a lot of experience performed um, by us and also on us. So recently we had an experience on our uh, calf um, that would ex uh, help explain uh, certain um, medical... Um, um, yeah, I would love to go to, to Mars. Actually, we, we, we see it from here and uh, I think if, if we do eventually uh, 
if we are able to go to Mars, I would actually be a volunteer and I would definitely want to go to, to Mars. Merci à tous. C'était un plaisir. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Did they finish all of them? Yep. They said uh, they finished really early. Yeah, he's, he speaks really fast. <laughs> We're back on campus, North Carolina State University, the Centennial Campus, where, where you're residing for the next semester so you can participate at Schema. So can you tell me what you thought of the contact? It was crazy to think that I was listening to uh, an astronaut on the uh, ISS. I guess it was over pretty fast. Yeah, six minutes. So the astronaut talked really, really fast. I tried to translate as best that I could. Obviously, this was a first for me. Obviously, I got to see all the setup. John explained how how every, everything worked. And yeah, I guess it was just crazy experience. I've only been here in the States for uh, a week and I've already done this. I'm excited. Yeah, I hope I can work with John again. All right, um, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can do this again the next Telebridge. First of all, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If you like it a lot, subscribe. And if you like it a whole lot, consider becoming a patron on my Patreon website where you can sign up to send a dollar or a few dollars every time I release a video. And if you do that, you'll get a reward like having your name featured at the end of the movie. Thanks, Max, for becoming a patron just recently. Let's talk about these antennas. This is the Alaskan Aero antenna. It's quite long, as you can see. It's one of the highest gain antennas they have compared to the regular Aero 2 satellite antennas. So Spacecoms was just sponsored by Aero Antenna. That's why I've got this. It's brand new, part of the sponsorship. Really grateful for that. And if you want to find out more about Aero Antenna, click the link below to go to their website. Thanks for watching. I'm John Breyer, KG4AKV73.